Here's everything you need to know about MoviePass in 2023. Inspired by the success of Netflix, with its unlimited movies for one monthly fee, film fan and entrepreneur Stacy Spikes founded MoviePass in 2011. Originally, MoviePass subscribers paid $50 a month to see unlimited movies. Over the next few years, that price varied from $25 to $40. When new leadership took over in 2017, the company lured hundreds of thousands more subscribers by slashing prices to $9.95 a month. This unsustainable offering cost the company every time someone saw a movie. Stacy Spikes rebelled against this hemorrhaging business model and was fired. By 2018, MoviePass was losing $21 million a month. It shut down in 2019 and filed for bankruptcy in 2020. Which brings us to today. Stacy Spikes bought back the defunct company in 2021 and recently acquired funding from a Hong Kong software corporation. Spikes is once again the CEO of MoviePass, with a new approach and future plans that include virtual reality experiences. After testing the new MoviePass beta in a number of select cities, now everyone who signed up to be on the wait list in 2022 has been invited to join. One big difference between the original MoviePass and MoviePass 2.0 is tiered pricing that involves credits to use toward movies. According to their website, subscribers have a choice between paying $10, $20, or $30 a month. For $10, most subscribers get 34 credits a month. For $20, 72 credits. For $30, 113 credits. In most markets, a matinee before 4 o'clock uses 10 of those credits. Weeknight showings use 15 credits. And evening showings on the weekend use 20 credits. Depending on the plan and the showings you choose, your credits get you as many as 11 movies a month. MoviePass is also testing a plan with 640 credits, enough for a movie every day for between $40 and $60 a month. Currently, that's a limited offering and is only in select markets. Southern California and the New York metro area have different plans using a different credit scale. Credits can only be used for standard 2D movies. At this time, 3D films and premium screens are not included, and credits cannot be used to buy a second ticket, say for a friend or spouse. MoviePass can be used at any theater that accepts credit cards. There's no contract and you can cancel at any time. Once you sign up, you will be mailed your new MoviePass card. That may take up to 10 days. Upon activating your card, your first month begins. Here's how MoviePass explains the process of using your credits. Download the MoviePass app to your phone. It will indicate how many credits you currently have and displays all available showtimes playing near you that day. You can browse by movie or by theater. In most cases, you must go to the theater to purchase your ticket. When you get there, open the MoviePass app, choose your movie and press check-in. Then use your MoviePass card to purchase your ticket. Because MoviePass 2.0 is currently in beta, any aspect of the service is subject to change while kinks are worked out. It seems that the biggest problem right now is that a great many users report having issues with the app, giving it one-star reviews. If MoviePass can conquer their technical difficulties, it stands a chance to be a prominent name in the movie industry once again. If you don't happen to be among those on the beta list right now, MoviePass intends to open it up to the public in the summer of 2023. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing for updates on MoviePass and other entertaining information.